Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, this video is going to be kind of a depressing one. It's pretty sad. It's not clickbait, sadly. I wish that it was, although I'm not really a clickbait kind of person. Um, unfortunately, we have had a massive death on the property. It's been really, really upsetting. And so I thought that I would make a video about it for you guys to talk to you guys about what we've been dealing with for the past week. So this past week, something really, really crappy happened. Uh, like the title says, all of my fish died. Um, I am talking, of course, about all of my fish in my pond, not uh, biscuit and bagel. Biscuit and bagel are doing great right now. Um, however, the pond fish, not so much. So luckily we are actively trying to fix this problem, but I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about what happened. So about a week ago, I came out here to the pond um, and it was of course one of the weeks where we haven't had rain. Um, we have actually not had a good thunderstorm in over three weeks. We've had like little sprinkles here and there but not a good storm, no good rain or anything like that. So unfortunately whenever you have a pond that isn't spring fed, like ours is not spring fed, it is actually fed by another pond and then we have a big hill so it's fed by runoff. So it never goes empty, it never dries up and it really doesn't get that low, which we're super grateful for. Um, however, it isn't of course fresh water constantly like a spring fed pond would be. So what happens is whenever you basically have a pond in really, really high heat, it's been over 90 degrees Fahrenheit here every single day for like a week so it's been extremely hot and unfortunately what happens is your water will separate and something called turning over happens the week before this happened actually my cousin texted me to warn me about it which of course at that time it was kind of too late because the heat was already here and i didn't realize that turning over was like something that would happen to my pond i think it was just really naive and i i thought maybe it could happen but I mean, I literally found out about it within five days before it happened. So I feel like it was just kind of too late, you know? Uh, but anyway, like a week before it happened, my cousin texted me a pond that he frequents. It's about three times bigger than ours, actually. Um, it actually turned over and all of the fish died. I never knew it was called turning over and like it was something that happens because of like heat and the water separating. I just, I mean, I've never had a pond of my own before. Obviously I grew up with one, but like we didn't have this happen ever. I think it's happened one time, like I said, last year to my mom. So we've never had this happen before. It's really weird. Um, Patrick even said he's never seen a pond do it before ever and he's had a pond he has a pond on his property where he grew up as well so honestly I think it's just a mixture of no rain and really high heat uh, you could probably say it's partially because of climate change or global warming um, that's possible I'm not ruling that out as a thing you know hotter summers colder winters you know it's just it's just the earth but basically um, so what happens is whenever you go a really long time with no rain really hot heat ponds can lower which ours actually does a great job like I said it doesn't empty however that doesn't mean it's not getting oxygen and then it basically will just be starved of oxygen the pond water will separate into three layers and the bottom layer is basically like dead water so the fish will just go to the surface they kind of gasp for air and it's really sad I never saw this happen it literally happened overnight um, the pond was fine one day and then all of my fish were dead the next it was just freaking wild we ordered a um, aerator which we actually have in the pond now wait you can't see it there it is it's right there um, we have an aerator in the pond now so that should prevent this from happening again and I'll talk more about that later uh, but basically the heat did it. It killed most all of our fish in our pond. I do have a few brim left, maybe under 50 that I can see that I'm still feeding. You guys know I'm a big pond feeder. I feed my fish every day because we went and bought a bunch of baby fish and we stocked it. Um, we actually had rock bass that we put in there. Um, we did lose two big bass. Uh, I put two grass carp in there to eat all the algae and stuff and one of the carp unfortunately died and he was so big it's just absolutely devastating and then the ducks are talking and then uh, we actually lost an un um, a, like uncountable amount of brim we lost an uncountable amount of fish I actually have a couple of clips as well of the pond in its state if you do not want to see like clickbait warning if you don't want to see dead fish and that just like really upsets you fast forward to a number I'm gonna put on the screen and you will skip over all of the fish video pictures and I guess the visuals um, and then you don't have to see that because it obviously may be upsetting to you and I don't want you guys to be sad it 
which it was sad enough for me, trust me, but I do wanna show you guys what can happen. Um, maybe this will be helpful. If you have a pond or you're about to buy a farm that has a pond, get a freaking aerator and put it in your pond. If you are not in a spring fed pond that's constantly getting water flow, like ours, um, we regret it. I regret not having an aerator. Um, they are between $700 and $1,000. Ours was a little over $700. Um, it is the 100 foot long one so that we have it in our barn. I'm gonna go into all the detail and show you guys the setup and everything of that in a minute, but we regret it. Definitely regret not having it sooner, um, but I did take some pictures and videos and stuff and I'll just kind of sprinkle them in and then um, they're talking to each other. They're really chatting today. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna go on and sprinkle in the clips and the videos and some pictures and stuff just to show you guys. And I'll put some captions on the screen if anything needs to be explained because I don't even remember what all clips I took because it's been a week. All right, so it's been four days since the mass death. Uh, at the pond of all the fish, or about half of the fish, I would say. We probably lost 50% of the aquatic fish in our pond. Patrick is over there with the new aerator that we just bought. Um, he's putting it together. And this is the rig sump that we put in four days ago just to oxygenate the water. You can see a few of the fish bodies there, but for the most part, they've been eaten or cleared out or whatever and then you can see the scum and the bodies are off the top of the water so the water is definitely getting more oxygen because of the sump but this is temporary um it's not meant to be here long term it's obviously like probably just a rig whatever not meant to last very long because it is obviously next to all this algae and this is sucking water in and spitting water out so it has a super high chance of getting clogged and the aerator cannot get clogged. It only pushes air in the water, that's it. So we wanna trade it out. And this was always temporary anyway. But I've got some hungry ducks over here who want their food. So we're gonna go feed them. Hi babies. So Patrick's putting together the aerator that we bought for the pond to oxygenate it. This aerator was $700, which is why we hadn't bought it already because they're extremely expensive. This aerator oxygenates one acre or less pond. So this one will definitely oxygenate ours since our pond is 318,000 gallons approximately. That's what the calculation said. So it's about a hundred foot round diameter. Um, so I don't know if that's an acre, but <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I already fed them, but here they come. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is a one acre pond or less aerator and hopefully it saves our pond and keeps it from turning over again because this is really sucked and poor Patrick had to get in there and pull out all those dead fish. Yep. That was horrible, but we didn't want it to make the water even worse by them all just decaying in there. So we had to get them out. It was a nightmare, but anyway, that's where we're at. You're doing a good job putting this together. I can't wait to see it in the pond and actually working. Yep. We also opted to not do a fountain because fountains suck in water just like the sump is. It sucks in and then pushes out. And that's fine for circulation, but and it also gives air, but they clog. Anything that sucks water in clogs. So this will not clog, it can't clog, it only pushes air. That's what we that's what we want. So today is actually the first day since we've had the aerator in here. We put it in here last night and it seems to be doing really good. There's obviously some muck on top of the water so it's not super clear like it is like if it just got done raining or something. But like I said, we haven't had a lot of rain. It rained a little bit last night, which we were grateful for, but we still haven't had a good storm, which I really need to like clear out all this water, you know? <laughs> the ducks are really talking today, oh my goodness. And then they stop camera shy um but yeah we've had the aerator in here since last night it seems to be doing really good i see a turtle i haven't seen the turtles since this whole fiasco happened i think they kind of abandoned the pond for like the week because 
there was dead fish all in it. It was disgusting, and it's just been quite a situation. Uh, but I do see the turtles are back, which is good because I was really afraid they like left our pond because it was just so nasty. It was so bad. We have it not quite in the middle, but I mean it's about as middle as we could get it with a kayak. So hopefully it does its job. But uh, yeah. All right, I've got to go get the food for these ducks because they are telling me that's what they want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate it. Um, I know I haven't been super active on here, but we have just been dealing with so much lately. Um, honestly, just there's been a lot of other stuff I haven't talked about or made videos about that are kind of private that have been going on here on the property. Um, the animals are all okay, but we did have a few things happen and of course the pond happened and we've had some people in my family get sick and it's just been like, it's literally been everything you can imagine. I even had a broken rib. That's like a whole nother thing. I had a broken rib like three weeks ago. I broke my rib. Seriously, it's just been a lot. Like there's just been so much. I can't even get into it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.